Hello, friends, and welcome to The Upper Room. I'm Amy Steele, Dean of The Upper Room Chapel and Executive Director of Program. This service is a part of our pre-recorded 70th anniversary summer Sabbath series on the Psalms. Each week, we will feature a new psalm reading, some breathing exercises, and thought-provoking questions while these services are meant to keep us connected through the summer, they also give our live team uh, a little break of their own. Feel welcome to still comment in the chat or download our free prayer practices booklet. And of course, spend time daily with resources from the upper room that feed your soul. And above all, have a good summer. We'll be praying for you and with you. And now, friends, please hear these words from Psalm 145, verses 8 through 14. Psalm 145, verses 8 through 14. And it just simply reads, The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that God has made. All your work shall give thanks to you, O God and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all God's deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. This ends the reading of the word. This is the word of God for the people of God. And this week, we're just going to focus for a few moments on the faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of God. And I have this prayer for you, and I'm going to invite you, if you would, please pray with me. Please just pray with me. God, your faithfulness is unmatched. Your words and your deeds remain steadfast. Because of your goodness and compassion, we trust in you. Where humanity fails, you are patient and slow to anger. May we learn of your ways and walk in them. May we learn to be as faithful to creation as you are to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And so we have a few questions for reflection today. Even again, as you pay attention to your breathing and you um, inhale and exhale at a pace that feels a little bit slower than usual, and you can begin to relax in this moment, this time of worship and prayer. The questions for today around God's faithfulness are, where have you seen the compassion of God make a difference in your life? And how does God's compassion change the way you interact with others? So just two questions. Where have you seen the compassion of God make a difference in your life? And you might begin to think about, you know, maybe your life as, a, as an adolescent, Maybe your life as a young adult, maybe your life as a middle-aged person or as a senior person, whatever, whatever stage of life you may be in. Reflect on that question. Where have you seen the compassion of God make a difference in your life? And then how does God's compassion change the way that you interact with other people? We have so many opportunities to interact with people on a daily basis. Many of us do anyway. And so how does God's compassion, the way that it's impacted you, how does it then impact the other people that you interact with on a daily basis? Those are our questions. And again, feel free to drop some thoughts in our chat or you might feel more comfortable just spending some time in your own way, reflecting a little bit later on these questions. But I would love to leave you again with this benediction which is from a book that we uh, published in 1954, at the Upper Room published in 1954. And the benediction is just this. May our Lord Jesus Christ 
be near to us, to defend us, within us, to refresh us, around us, to preserve us, before us, to guide us, behind us, to justify us, and above us, to bless us. And may you be blessed wherever you are. Go in peace, to rest, to love, and to serve the world. Amen and amen.